Hello, Reward Collection. This is Eileen. I said with a brand new segment to our website called Quick Tips. Quick Tips are little pearls of wisdom from clinical practice that I'm going to be sharing with you, and uh, they will help you or your patients one way or another. Anyway, let's get to the first uh, quick tip here. And today's tip is about anesthesia. Are you still using paddle shots to anesthetize patients for maxillary first or second molars? Well, I'm here to tell you that's not necessary. To, in order to do a root canal therapy on the maxillary first or second molar, you need to get the paddle root numb, obviously. Buccal infiltration is not enough because the paddle root could be so far away that you're not going to get adequate infiltration to anesthetize that root. So many people actually end up giving a patient a paddle shot, but that's really not necessary. If you give a posterior superior alveolar nerve block, whereby you actually are anesthetizing the posterior superior alveolar nerve before it enters the maxilla, uh, you will be able to numb up all three roots of the maxillary first and second molars. And occasionally for the maxillary first molar, you may have to just give a little additional buccal infiltration. So what that does is it allows you to uh, anesthetize your first and second molars only with a posterior alveolar nerve block, which is a fairly easy shot to give. All it requires you to do is to aim for it. In a different uh, tutorial, I will obviously go into detail about how you can administer the posterior superior alveolar nerve block safely and very uh, painlessly to your patients. But the question that comes up is that, well, what about the clamp right before you put on? You'd need to have anesthesia on the paddle uh, tissue for clamping the, the, uh, the tissue. Well, most of the time, you get enough collateral innervation with the posterior superior alveolar nerve block that the clamp could be applied uh, to the paddle tissue and it won't cause any pain. But in those cases where there could be a little bit of a pinch felt by the patient, all you need to do is just to give one additional um, drop of anesthetic in form of a interligamental shot right in the paddle area right before you start. So you would start by giving the posterior superior alveolar nerve block for your maxillary second molar and your first molar and then proceed to give maybe a half a carpule or one carpule of buccal infiltration only for your first molar. And then right before you start, you just give a couple of drops of anesthetic in the mesial or distal uh, uh, line angle of the paddle area, uh, right in the, uh, into the sulcus before you get started, only if the clamp is pinching on the tissue. This way, you can make your maxillary molar uh, anesthetic shots painless, quick, and without that dreaded paddle of shots. If you have your own clinical tips and pearls that you want to share with our colleagues, uh, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. If I find something that's helpful, I may actually share that in a video with the rest of uh, uh, our audience. For Rebel Dindo, I'm Ali Nassan. I hope you found this information helpful.